Hello there folks, Sid Mnemonic here with another episode of The Tea Drinker and as I said last time I'm going to be um, taste testing some of the tea that I brought back from my Estonian holiday. Um, I've got nine different varieties of tea so I've grouped them into batches of three and I'm going to do three episodes. Um, they're sort of uh, grouped into sort of teas that are sort of similar in sort of style, taste, background, that sort of thing. So um, I've already got them steeping, uh, which is kind of uh, a thing that I've noticed from my videos. I don't think I um, steep the teas long enough to get the really good uh, tasting flavour. So I've already started by steeping my teas. Um, so uh, we're going to start with uh, homiki tea, which is a breakfast tea, uh, morning tea. Um, it's a green tea uh, and it's got rose petals and uh, um, sunflower petals as well. Uh, I found out this because I, I, I don't really speak Estonian very well, in fact nearly next to nothing. So I used Google Translate and it came up as Helianthus and I, uh, I googled Helianthus and it's a sunflower. Uh, this is a sort of, it's very green, it literally is a green tea. If I uh, just show you, can you see that? It's got flower petals and stuff in it. Okay. And it's a very fruity, very floral scented tea. So, um, so I've got my Royal Dalton here and my tea strainer. And got this little cup here. You just, if I just tilt it very carefully, you can see the breakfast tea. It's kind of a green colour, and there's lots of bits of uh, uh, petals and uh, bits of the tea as well. And yes, it is. It's very, very fruity scented. So okay, we're going to carefully pour just a little bit of the tea in here try not try not to spill it a bit okay okay we've got tissue here there we go so okay got that out of it okay so once you've strained it it's kind of a pale yellow color and yep yeah, it's quite fruity let's let's have a taste Mm. It's not really as fruity as I'd, I'd have thought it would taste like. Mm. Yeah, it's more of an aftertaste of fruitiness that you can get afterwards. And yes, it's quite floral. Mm. The sort of bubblegum quality to it. Um, I'm going to have a little more of that, actually. So... There we go. Get some more of the, the leaf into it. So, yep. So, yep. So. Oh, that's better. Yes, it's sort of um, bubble gummy, like like juicy fruit bubble gum. Um, sort of. Reminds me, it's, it's quite fruity, um, a bit like a papaya. It tastes like papaya. That's what it reminds me of. So, oh, there's a slight bitterness in the aftertaste once you get to the bottom of the pot. The, mm, that's a good cup of tea. Would I drink this in the morning? Probably not. I'll probably stick to my old grey, but. Um, mm, as an occasional sort of treat, I love that. So I'm just going to clean out my cup. Give that a swirl. And where's my strainer? So just clean my strainer a bit as well. There we go. So, right. Okay. So the next tea that we're going to try today is Blue Earl Grey. 
uh, which is what we'd call lady grey over here. Um, it's a mix of, uh, where's my notes now? It's a uh, China, Chinese and Ceylon teas. Um, and it has corn flowers in it. That's the little blue flowers. They're actually the national emblem of uh, of Estonia, which is which is nice. Like we have the rose over here. Uh, Scotland has the thistle. Wales has the daffodil. Uh, they have the cornflower. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, there's the cornflower. Uh, petals, dried cornflower petals in it. And there we go. And of course, because it's a it's a it's a grey, it's an earl grey, it's a lady grey tea, it has of course the bergamot oil. Mm. Um this isn't so floral as the uh morning tea. It's it's quite sort of musty. I can't really get the sort of cornflower aspect of it um, but I'm beginning to get a little bit of citrus notes as well which is quite common in a grey tea so uh, I've got it here this is sort of a very dark brown colour as you can see it's been steeping quite a while now so um, let's try this Try and get it. Maybe I'll just leave it down here actually. Okay, so that's kind of dark, if you can see. That's a, a lot darker than the first one because the first one, of course, was a green tea. So this is some, uh, a Chinese and Ceylon blend. Oh yes, I can I can definitely smell the bergamot and the citrus notes that you you come to expect from an, an Earl Grey. So let's give it a taste. Oh, that's lovely. There's a sort of very smoothness to it. Even though it doesn't have milk, there is a sort of milky taste to it. I know it sounds very odd. Even though it doesn't have any milk in it, I, I actually personally do not drink tea with milk. Um, it has a very sort of sort of silky, milky kind of uh, taste, and it's, it's it, oh, it's a lovely taste. Mmm, it's not bitter at all. It's it's very very smooth cup of tea. And oh, the the scent is—it's absolutely lovely. It, this is a this is a very good cup of tea. Mmm, mmm, that is absolutely lovely. That's lovely. That is a very good cup of tea. That's a very good cup of um, Earl Grey, Lady Grey tea. Okay, let's go on to our final tea. Just let's clean out our cup a little bit. Okay, pull that on the side and clean out the leaf. There we go. Clean that out of it. There we go. Da -da -da. Okay. Right, the final tea we have today is called Vene Caravan, which translates as a uh, Russian caravan. Uh, it's a kind of campfire sort of traveller on the road tea. Um, it has a very smoky scent. It's very sort of campfirey, um, cooking over an open fire sort of open range kind of like like it's a sort of tea you'd make on an agar you know what i mean like an agar range it's very sort of charcoaly sort of smell um it sort of reminds me of an old-fashioned kitchen oh it's lovely 
that, that that's the sort of tea you'd have on a winter wintry evening um, as you can see it's quite a dark tea um, can I say is it yeah can't really say it. it's it's that it's just a very smoky blend of smoky that's what it's a very smoky blend of tea and yes it, it's the after it's been steeping you still get that sort of charcoaly scent from it okay so let's give this a taste okay now after straining it is of a very similar color to the earl grey the sort of uh sort of dark honey brown but in scent it couldn't be more different you have the the very sort of charcoaly uh smoky scent to it Oh, yes, it has a very smoky taste. Very smoky. It's, um, yes, it's like, it is like inhaling a bonfire, this tea. Oh, lovely. It, it's a lot less bitter than I thought it was going to be. Um, yes, very, very. And the thing is, the, the smokiness doesn't dissipate. Uh, the more you drink it, it 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 keep the it keeps the aftertaste is still there. This is a very 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 nice, a very surprising tea. I thought it was going to be quite bitter, going, the, the smokiness was going to be overwhelming, but no, this is actually a really good tea. Yes, uh, oh, that is. Uh, rather understated that, that is a lovely tea so um that concludes part one of my estonian tea odyssey um uh so uh where i got these from was a place called uh covieri covieri it's uh it's in olive magi 11 uh, which is near St. Olaf's Church in uh, the old town of Tallinn. So if you're ever in Tallinn, um, go to the old, old town and, um, uh, you know, pick up some tea there. I'm, <laughs> I spent 18 euros there because I really love my tea. So um, that's it for today, folks. Um, so uh, keep... Uh, I'll see you in the next video and in the meantime, keep drinking tea.